that tone, it's a real money in the room. Another time when I was like, okay, well, 30 is really going to the next level with this dog stuff was um, when you when you when you purchased the stud fee from King Pinky. Um, for those people who don't know, King Pinky is a one of a kind dog, first of its kind, um, to have two copies of the pink gene and it actually showed visually pink. In the United States. In the United States. Right, right, right. You gotta say in the United States, you know what I'm saying? But the I think it's like he, California. He, he really kinda like the first ever have a period, but he was for show. See, he's from United Kingdom. He's from the UK. So ain't the UK like Europe? No, nah, the UK is England. England. So he's from England. I don't know what all they got in England, but I know for sure that he was the first to be in the United States. Now I went out there and paid seventeen thousand and bred to the dog before everybody else. Knew I thought about King dog. Pinky was twenty. He best was twenty, best. but this east of the west shit, they got a fuck with me on something. So I got him for seventeen. Right. Uh I did the breeding and um that's You brought I, a bad motherfucker to him too. You brought a uh Isabella Murrow Daisy, dudes. Yo, but well, I was it carrying though, fluffy? She didn't carry no fluffy. No fluffy? So what I did was see this is this how you do it, fool. You gotta line up the, the genetics, right? Right. You breed a fluffy carrier to a fluffy carrier, you might get one only one fluffy, right? So at that time, it wasn't really is a, it wasn't a lot of Isabella fluffies out. If they was, they wasn't up in age. This in a this is an right this right in, right. This right. is an adult Isabella Murrow, so she already carried two copies of the testable gene. Right. So I'm lining up the gene DNA of hey, I need something that's gonna carry the pink, the testable, and it's gonna be able to throw good structure. That's why I took Daisy to him. Boom, Daisy didn't take. It. That's when I bred Cat Lady to him, and that's when I produced Pink Thirty. So Pink 30 is a visual fluffy Merle Karen. Have test. you showed Pink 30? I don't think I've seen Pink 30. Pink 30 been dropping breeds back to back. So he's a blue tri Merle Karen pink and chocolate. I've been keeping them Testable put, chocolate or? No, nah, just cocoa. Okay. So my plan is to breed him to the females that carry the testable, big ropes that carry the testable, females that carry the pink where I can produce, you know, the next generation of my stuff. You know, Man, I, that's I didn't, tough. See. And, and that, that's my thing with, with breeding, like even with King Pinky, because that 17 bands was a big risk for you. You know what I'm saying? To, to take 17 just off. And for those who don't know, when we speak on stud, you really just speaking on the semen. You know what I'm saying? You're paying for the semen, you're paying to put it in. You know what I'm saying? And then what, I, I think, I, I watched a vlog that you did when y'all did it. And it was like, you didn't have, um, you, you weren't prepared for the AI. You know what I'm saying? And they ended up doing the AI or something like that? I've been prepared. I came prepared. Right. So what they what they did was they PG tested and said breed her tomorrow. I think we did the AI that day and the next day, matter of fact. Okay. When she was there, when we came, she was ready. So we did the breeding. It wasn't it wasn't nothing that I wasn't prepared but, for. See see me, I'm just saying if I spend seventeen, I'm doing a TCI. I'm not coming in so look, what we did, with the regular AI. I got to at least see it go in. You know so what I'm saying? So we did one AI and a TCI. We did a TCI. What you seen on camera Might was, have to do a surgical for the 17. <laughs> it depends on her numbers. You know right, what I'm right. saying? So she was her numbers was, was ready for one AI one day and a, uh, and a TCI the next day. So that's what we did. So she got an AI and a TCI done. But she just didn't take. Was there a reason she didn't take her? She, she did take. She had two. She had a miscarriage. Uh, the dumb my my vet I be going to, or one of the vets I go to, they had gave up. She was vomiting. She had caught. She had like little parasites. So, so when she was vomiting, I took her to the vet, and they had gave me a pill, and they said it was okay for pregnancy. She had confirmed two plus puppies, but when I had gave her that pill, she started dropping blood. She started miscarrying. So that's when I got the credit to cat lady. And I didn't need the, the DNA for Cat Lady. Cat Lady, I already had her following. She already had people from all over calling her trying to buy her. So I just took her structure with her color and bred it to Pink 30. I mean, bred it to King Pinky and got Pink 30. So Pink 30, he carries the structure, he carries the DNA, and he carries, he carries the, the brand. How, how, many, um, how, how many pups did you get off that litter with Cat Lady and, uh... okay, that's cool. I co-own Cat Lady Chicago for 80,000, right? So I get two puppies, he get two puppies. We split the litter. I pick Pink 30 first and his sister Bubblegum, she was a blue with like little tan points on her leg. I just bred her to the one, a big rope, Isabella 
Rojo Mel. So she's finna drop big rope, chocolates, Karen Testable, and Pink. Then I'm gonna take that to the Pink 30 and produce big rope, you know, murals and I'm just doing, I can't tell you everything, but guess no, we got levels on levels on levels. We got all this shit documented and prepared for years and years down the line. Like this right. festival, I've been working on this festival for two years. I'm just not just jumping out here in the blind doing shit. Oh, you're not. You're not. I even saw you last year um, at um, South by Southwest. By the way, we hosted the biggest South by Southwest um, festival, you could say, um, or, or extravaganza. We're not a festival. It's extravaganza. Um, on 6th Street, you know what I'm saying? Real Tune brought Texas out. We did do it. And yeah. you were promoting back then. You know what I mean? Because um, there were several dog shows happening, and people were promoting their dog shows as they were happening. Um, I thought your dog show was that year. Was that year because you were promoting it so early? Nah. Yeah. Festival 2023, but I'm already working on it because I like to stay two, three steps ahead and let everybody know because I got a lot of fans and people that be tuning in and they be losing contact with me because Instagram be deleting my page. So um, I wanted to get out there for the people that was fans of me for the music. Like a lot of people, when I went to South by Southwest, they, they quote my music like you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me not knowing that they on that new shit. That uh, that new shit I dropped, uh, what's the name of it? That's the one off the porch, but what they really fuck with is uh, Phil today. How, how, how Phil did that go? 30 Rich, I get paid plenty of ways. Back and forth making plays on the interstate. Niggas ain't shit like me anyway. Niggas can't sit by me anyway. Now you Pill got that other song too. How I feel today. You, you got that other, uh, I can't think. You know, you don't drop enough to about, keep it all the. Uh, you talking about the song with Jada Younger? Nah, 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 or nah, you, nah. Or nah. you talking about the one that say, got it's me a, fucked up, think I'm. Got me, think I'm crazy. Jump up. <laughs> and yeah, say, and say, got me fucked up. Yeah, yeah, Damn. that, 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 yeah. See, when I go in the booth, fool, I just zone out. You hear me? Right. I get on the mic and I talk shit. So, how my songs be going, I don't be remembering them hoes because this shit ain't no just, shit. That's Talking. written down right. that I done rehearsed. I just go in there and, you know, and do art. I just go in there and, you know, make music. You know what right. I'm saying? So a lot of them songs I don't be knowing, but October 29th, I might be performing on that funk air. Right. So we about 10, 15 days away. If you're looking for the biggest event in Texas, uh, Top Dollar West Month Festival, brought to you by your boy 30 Rich with D-Baby, No Cap, Big Boogie, South Walker Car Show, Big Extra Plug, uh, uh, Lil Jeremy, you know what I'm saying? All in one show, you know what I'm saying? Uh, outside event, all breeds, all dogs are welcome. All reptiles are welcome. Whatever you got, chickens, goats. I got guys calling me saying they bringing horses and zebras. Got callers, guys calling me saying they bringing chickens. They bringing all different type of animals out. I'm trying to flavors expose the animals to the world. I'm trying to mix right. the animal culture in with the music culture and the car culture. Just like it's a culture for that and a culture for that, it's also a culture for this, you know what I'm saying? Also, I want these fans to go home with a dog. So if you're a breeder, it's a lot of people coming with a lot of money, a lot of people that have been watching me over the years. I've been promoting this for years and years and years to prepare people and get people to have their cars ready, their dogs ready, you know what I'm saying? They bag ready so they can come to the festival and leave with some nice when you're a 18 carry $20,000 Pinky ring right here, or, or win you a trophy that got top dollar first festival with the briefcase in the middle and, and, and diamonds on it and shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything right. I'm doing, I'm, I'm putting extra into. I've been doing this for two years. You know how much two years of promotion costs? Mm. Costs a lot. You know what I'm saying? When you on the radio lot. and you passing out flyers at every event, that shit ain't cheap. You know what I'm saying? When you having people make flyers. Each one of those flies, them, them people see me post, them flies cost me $100. And I've been posting this shit and promoting it for two years. Right. All different breeders. I'm making them flies. Hey, bro, we'll make you a fly, you bringing the dog. You bringing the dog, send me a picture of your dog, I'm gonna make you a fly. So I'm, I'm spending that money that they gonna have to pay to get get in. That's the money I had to spend for them a fly. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So I've been, I've been, you know, trying to give back and support the supporters and support the culture of people that, you know, want to, be into this or want to learn it or be in the animals because i know real tune i ain't see you with no dog until i got a dog for some reason no nah, no nah, see I, I had a before you even dropped money laundering i already had a pocket that's how i'm on that's how i'm on your music okay because okay, i'm okay. already in the dog game so, that's what a lot of people don't know i've been had litters so look but see i had a pocket let me say and something I, and let i bred them with an xl this before 
You know what I'm saying? This before the exotics took so, off. There, there wasn't even dog. Man, I brought a dog to North Dallas. Yeah. You hear me? Let me ask you something. Yeah, yeah. So you saying the dog breeding exposed you to my music? The dog breeding definitely gave, made That's me look made at it. That's what made you get it, into Because the dog music. was hard. So I'm look, like, this is another thing. I'm looking at the dog. A lot of people don't know, like, when you doing different shit, it brings different shit. A lot of the breeders from other states didn't know I do music. But me having that dog, it created streaming revenue for me. People started listening to my music. People started looking further into me. So you gotta have different shit going on because right. it bring different people, different audiences. And now we here we are today. That dog created me on my boy Real Tune yeah, platform. This had to be 2020. This when, was 2019. When you when you seen the money laundering shit? I, I, Cause I, I got my dog around, 20, I was still on Snapchat. This was 2018, this before Real Tune. That's what I'm saying, like this is before and the dog shit is, this was what's creating us the opportunity to do this right. video and, and show the world how big this dog shit is, man. It can connect you with all different mm -hmm. types of people. Right. So if you don't have a dog, bro, get you a dog. You lost. Yeah, if you don't have a dog, the dog is the new shit. The dog is the new gym. It's gonna get you women. It's gonna get you everything. Whatever you're looking for, you be. It's, it's gonna get on, you a man. plug. The dog shit gonna get you a plug. Bro. It's all for real. You know what I'm saying this dog, I don't care if you got your Belgium. You know what I'm saying? You get whatever you dog you got. You know people are in the dogs, fool. I, I, I definitely had um. A... Hey, real tone. It's a real money in the room.